Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a super cute little gnome for you, a little Valentine's gnome, got cute little pajamas on, got little slippers, got a little heart hidden behind his back. If you want to know how to make this little guy, stick around. I show you how. And if you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use four corks. You could use one of the little hair noodles if you want to. Just make sure that they measure three inches in length. And you're going to take two dowel sticks that are quarter inch by six inch. Go ahead and sharpen them. And then we are going to go ahead and run them through these corks. Now, I pre-drilled these. And if you want to stay till the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. And then you're just going to twist them until they're kind of even they don't have to be exact just kind of get them where they're kind of they're sort of even because you're not going to drill that in exactly the same place and I'll show you here after a while and then this is going to be for the legs the pant leg you're going to take a four inch by three and a quarter inch piece of fabric and you're going to glue down one of the four inch sides and you're going to do that on both of them and that's going to be our seam in the back Okay, next we're going to take our cork and we are going to put our cork down at the bottom of the raw edge, roll it around to the other side, and then go ahead and glue those together. And you're going to do that for both of them. Just make sure that you are flush with the bottom of your fabric. Okay, next we're just going to take some little half inch slits, go all the way down to the top part of your um, cork and cut these about, I say maybe about a half inch and do the same thing with the second one. Next I'm going to take the Dollar Tree little um, favor shoes and I'm going to put three little nuts into each one of these and glue them in. You just want to make sure that they are flat when you glue them in. You don't want them to be raised. And if you don't have access to these shoes, I will give you a link in the description below on how you can make those from scratch. I have a video that shows you step by step on how to do that. Okay, next we're just going to put these down on some white fleece and just go ahead and cut out a rectangle around it. And then we are going to just glue these little shoes to the um, fleece. And this will hold those nuts in the bottom real well. Just kind of cover all that up. Okay, then go ahead and trim around it, leaving about a quarter of an inch overhang from the shoe. And then we're going to cut little slits in it all the way around to glue to the shoe. You just need a little bit so that you can hide that hide the bottom part once we put the sides on. Okay, then go ahead and put a little bit of glue around the edge and just go ahead and push that all the way around and just gluing it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be hidden by the sides. And do the same thing with the second shoe. So we're going to take a piece of fabric that measures five and a half by one and a half and this is what's going to make the shoe up and we're just going to glue down one of the short sides fold that over let that dry real good and then we're going to turn them right side out okay turn those right side out and we're just going to slip this right over the shoe with the seam in the back and then just go ahead and pull it all the way down flush with the bottom and then we're going to glue that around it Okay, you don't have to worry so much about it being perfect because we are going to trim that out with some ribbon when we get done. But just make sure you do get it glued in good. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue inside the shoe and go ahead and add the leg. Just make sure that your seam is in the back. And then we're going to take a little pom-pom to put in the front. Okay, I'm just going to roll a pom-pom up in my hand and I'm just going to put it in the front. And that just kind of loosens it up a little bit, makes it a little bit fluffier. And then I'm going to take some white thread and I'm just going to go ahead and stitch a casing all the way around this shoe and draw it up. And I didn't tie a knot in the back of my um, thread. I'm just going to go all the way around and then I'll pull the two together and, and tie them off. And you're just making little quarter inch stitches. And then when you get to the back, just go ahead and tie them off and tighten it up as tight as you can. Okay. 
And then you're going to do exactly the same thing with the other shoe. To trim out the shoes, I'm just going to take some red ribbon and I'm just going to go all the way around starting in the back, all the way back to the back. And this is probably about a 3 8 inch ribbon. And just kind of pull it snug as you're going around. And then you're going to do exactly the same thing with your second shoe. And to add a little Valentine decor to the shoes, I just got these little red Valentine heart stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to stick them right to the very front edge of the shoe. And I'm going to do that on both of them. Okay, next we're going to take a cone that measures 3 inches by 5.9 inches tall. Go ahead and cut out two or punch out two little holes in the bottom to put your sticks. And then we're just going to glue right around the base of the cork and push it up on in there. Just make sure that your seams are in the back. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other leg. And then with all those little tabs that we just cut a little while ago, we're just going to glue those down to hold it completely in place. Just make sure you have good balance before you proceed to the next step. And then go ahead and start gluing your tabs all the way around until you have them all completely glued in. Okay, next, I'm just going to take a sock and I'm just going to pull it over the top part of my cone all the way down so I can hide the bottom of that. Now, you can do that another way if you want to, but this was just an easy way to completely cover, cover that up and seal that in. And if you're going to sell these, make sure that you do cover up everything that you've just done there. It just gives it a polished look. And go ahead and pull the top up, turn it, tie it off with a rubber band, then we're going to just cut it off and then we're going to come back in with some string just to secure it, just to make sure if that rubber band ever pops, it's still secured. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down in there just to hold it in place, just to make sure it does stay together. Next, go ahead and cut out your pattern for your pajama shirt. We're going to glue down one side and we're just going to overlap it and let that dry. And this is in the description below. You can just download it and cut it out. And then we're going to hem it up about a half inch all the way around on the bottom. Okay, just make sure that you do get it pretty even and then go ahead and just hot glue right up underneath that flap. Okay, next, just go ahead and turn it right side out, and then we're just going to slip it right over the top part of our gnome. Just make sure that the seam is in the back. Pull it on down for as low as you want it to go, and then I'm just going to take a rubber band, tie off the top, and then I'm going to tie a string around it as well. And I probably have mine about a half inch below that um, cone. hat I'm taking a piece of fabric that's 10 inches by 13 inches and this is called milky fleece you get this at um, Hobby Lobby and just go ahead and glue down the 13 inch side and then fold that other part over the top of it okay after that dries we're going to go ahead and cuff it up two and a half inches because we're going to make a cuff in the front as well so just make sure that you do get that cuffed up two and a half inches and then go ahead and glue it in and you don't need a lot of glue on this, just put a little fine bead all the way around. Okay, then to finish out the top part of the hat, we're just going to gather it up, tie a string around it. Now tie your loop two times, and then you don't have to hold your finger there while you're trying to tie the next loop. It secures it pretty good. Okay. 
Okay, next go ahead and turn your hat right side out and then we are going to attach a pom-pom right to the very end and that's probably about a one inch pom-pom. Next we're going to cut out the beard and just go ahead and take your pattern and draw a circle around there and that measures three and three quarter inches by three and a quarter inches and then just cut behind the fur only. If you just do little bitty snips you can get through this pretty quick and easy without messing it up. just going to attach the beard to the hat so make sure your seams in the back and we're just going to put a bead of glue across the front edge you want to leave enough room to get the, the nose up in there and then just go ahead and glue that in and you want to make sure you get it glued pretty flat so I'm probably coming up about three quarters of an inch on the on that beard Okay, just make sure you do spend some time getting that glued in good and then we're going to go ahead and put it right over the top part of our gnome. Next we're going to attach the nose. I'm just taking a 5 8 inch felt um, ball and I'm just going to put it right up onto his beard and glue it in. And then go ahead and pull it down in the back and go ahead and just glue the back in. Next to kind of dress it up a little bit, I'm just going to take a wooden heart and I'm going to attach it to the top part of his hat. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue all the way around the hat just to glue it the, the cuff up. I'm going to take a piece of fabric that measures two and a half by five inches and we're going to glue up the two and a half inch side about a quarter of an inch. Then go ahead and flip your fabric over and we're going to put a bead glue down the 5 inch side and flap that other side over the top of that. This way we'll have a nice finished edge on our shirt sleeve. Then I'm just going to take a safety pin. I'm just going to attach it at the top part and I'm going to run it through the casing just to get this turned right side out. This is an easy way to do that. And then you're going to do exactly the same thing with the other arm. Next we're going to take two 12 inch pipe cleaners, fold them in half, and we are going to run these down through the arm. And you just don't want to go all the way down because we are going to put a little bead in there for his hand. And then do the same thing with the second one. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the top part in just to hold that all together. And then go ahead and clip off the excess. Okay, next for the hand, I'm just going to take a little 15 millimeter bead and I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside. Now, I did have to clip mine off a little bit because my pipe cleaner went a little bit lower, but you want it about halfway out. And I did the same thing with that one too. I had to trim that one a little bit as well. to attach them we're just going to come right up underneath the shirt now he's going to hold a heart in back of him so we're going to bend the arms backwards and just make sure that your seam is facing the body and then go ahead and build your arm back and then we're going to start gluing these in just put a little bit of glue underneath and then we'll put some glue on top here in a little bit And then do the same thing with the opposite arm. We're just going to have to kind of bend these back and get them even so that he can hold this wooden heart. Okay, then go ahead and put a little bit of glue right up underneath the hat to that arm and do that on both sides. Then go ahead and pull the arms to the back. Just kind of bend them to where they're almost touching but not quite touching. And then we're going to attach our heart right over the top part. Okay, 
I think he turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see how I drill my corks, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, to drill your cork, you're just going to take a quarter inch drill bit and just hold it in place and try to get it as straight as you can. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can start turning the corks once you get them on your stick and they will line up pretty good. But just do a little bit through one end and then do the other end and then you can go all the way through. <music> 